Warsaw's Vilanov. In October, 52% of residents here voted for Donald Tusk's party. Most of those interviewed, despite their support for the civic platform, don't want illegal migrants at home. Do you have any idea where a migrant camp could be built here in Vilanov? I think nowhere. Who did you vote for recently in the last parliamentary elections for the civic platform? It's comfortable, it's quiet, it's peaceful. You can even go out in the evening and take a walk, and I think it would shatter the order a bit, so to speak. Who did you vote for recently in the last parliamentary elections? For Mr. Chaskovsky. People come here to have nice neighbors, for it to be nice. And the migrants aren't nice? My husband and I lived in Germany and came here to Poland to not have migrants. There are migrants in Germany who have a different culture and don't assimilate, and they form their own groups. But of course, there are also those who repeat the theories propounded by civic platform politicians, that migrants include poor people that need to be helped. However, when asked asked if they would welcome an illegal migrant under their own roof, they answer. Would you accept any migrants from Africa into your home? I have too small of an apartment to take someone in. For some short period of time, yes. Permanently, no, because I don't have conditions. If you don't take in these migrants, there is a fine of 20,000 euros for one. Would you pay for this out of your own pocket? Out of my own pocket, like any poll, reluctantly, but I could pay some part from my earnings for this purpose. Near Wrocław's Jagodno neighborhood, we heard. Where in Jagodno should a refugee center be built? Far away from here. Not here? No. Nowhere. Let Tusk take them to his place. You don't want migrants here? I don't want them at all. Let Tusk take them with him. Donald Tusk assures that there will be no agreement on a migration pact that involves the forced relocation of illegal migrants. But will he say no to his friend? Migration is a European challenge which must be met with a European solution. One that is effective and both fair and firm. And this is what the Pact on Migration and Asylum delivers. It will be making a real difference for all Europeans. There will be hundreds of thousands of immigrants from Africa, Muslim and Asian countries, because this is an indefinite mechanism and can be increased at any time. But Germany's head of the European Commission is pushing for the pact. This is not surprising. After all, Germany, specifically Angela Merkel with her famous open-door policy, is mainly responsible for the migration crisis in Europe. I hope Europe is up to the challenge. It is necessary to create a refuge for refugees as soon as possible. We must stay away from xenophobes and far-right movements. Do not allow the example of those who are full of prejudice and have cold, hateful hearts. Do not listen to them. We can handle it. Germans thought illegal migrants would be cheap labor for them. They miscalculated. Foreign newcomers do not assimilate and are often a threat to Europeans. This is putting out a fire with gasoline. It won't increase the safety of Europeans, and it won't help the migrants who end up in Europe. It will only encourage smugglers to bring more and more illegal migrants into Europe, because they know there is money for that. The Polish right wing warned the same way 10 years ago, but the POPSL government ignores these voices, submitting to the policy pushed by the Germans. It will be necessary to make this move and probably open up to the proposals of the European Commission. In a sense, our involvement in this plan includes taking out a certain insurance policy in case, God forbid, things get worse. As a country, we are prepared for virtually any number. For any number? You mean for 50,000? As a country, we are prepared. The United Right government changed our country's migration policy and did not allow forced relocation. Tusk, as head of the European Council, criticized this in a bid to force law and justice to change its decision. This will lead to certain consequences. These are the rules in Europe. We have heard very often, in recent years from Donald Tusk, this kind of admonition that Poland does not accept those solutions that are adopted in Brussels and directly violates the rule of law. After all, this is what the battle has been about for the last few years. This is what Poland has been vilified for by these politicians from the European People's Party. Now again, mainly by politicians from the European People's Party, to which the civic platform belongs, a migration pact that is dangerous for the entire community has been adopted. Adrian Borecki, TV Republika.